Hi guys, how's it going? So Facebook in hot water once again, because unfortunately parents who have been purchasing the Oculus Quest 2 for their kids on the 13, it's really affected them. How? Let's find out. This video is not sponsored by VR Wave, but if you wear prescription lenses and you want to have an awesome time in VR, do head out to www.vr-wave.store with a 5% discount using the promo code VR Essentials. Link in the description below because they've sent us a couple pairs and they're really awesome. It's really made a huge difference and I thought you should know that. Now Facebook are again in hot waters and this is what this video is all about. And parents, by the way, if you are going to purchase VR for your children, you must know, I mean, perhaps you, you're a parent, you need to know that, you know, first of all, it's bad for the eyesight development for a child, apparently, certainly because it's hot and also it's very bright inside. So this could affect the way the eyeball is going to be shaped and all this kind of stuff. And then also because apparently the depth in which VR is could also be affected as to how they perceive objects and how far, how close, all these kind of things. So do be very aware that, you know, that's the first thing. Secondly, there's a lot of people in VR that perhaps don't have kids' best intentions. Um, so do be, you know, very cautious. And at the moment in virtual reality, there aren't many, you know, systems put in place to be able to save kids from having, you know, been protected in any shape or form. So do be aware that at the moment, it's really much like what the internet used to be at the very beginning. And you have to be very cautious before you put your kids inside of VR. Now for Facebook, you need to be at least 13 years or above to use the Oculus Quest. But unfortunately, well, there are several different things that have happened. First of all, they haven't really advertised it properly on the box, apparently, of the actual Oculus Quest. So most parents who just bought it are unaware or uneducated about, first of all, the risks of, you know, being in VR when you're a kid. But secondly, that you have to be 13 or above using the Oculus Quest. And then there are other parents who knew about it, but they thought, oh, it's okay, I will just, you know, create a fake Facebook account and just change the, you know, the age or the date of birth on that account for my child so that he can basically use the Oculus Quest. And then there are different parents who have allowed their kids to use their own accounts with the Oculus Quest. So there are different kind of permutations here, but all of course have been affected in one way or another. What parents also need to be aware of is that VR is really, especially the Oculus is very well developed. Now what's happened is several things. First of all, Facebook has thought that these accounts with a fake age are fake accounts. So basically they've been closing them down. And for those whose parents have been allowing their kids to use their accounts, Unfortunately, their kids have been posting pictures and posting video of their gameplay on their parents' account newsfeed and Facebook has picked up on that and basically closed their parents' accounts as well. We all need to be aware that apparently, according to a very recent article, by the way, you know, Oculus can actually track up to 20 million data points every 20 minutes when someone is in virtual reality. Now, the technology is extremely smart not only can it analyze the actual VR person, but those data points are also what's around that person because the cameras can see outside. It's very easy for the technology to become smarter and smarter and really know who's actually in VR. So the moment that you're gonna have a kid that's below a certain age, or but in fact, they're trying to trick the algorithm in telling them that they're above that age, they're gonna know they are going to know. It's only going to be a matter of time before they're going to find out whether it's, you know, a week, a few days or a few months or perhaps a year, let's say. But you need to understand the moment that you your account is tracked and they find out these kind of things, they will just close everything. They will cancel the entire account and whatever apps you may have purchased, the money will be lost and will not be refunded in any shape or form. Now, guys, as you know, Facebook has been sued by 48 different states in America, I mean, basically pretty much all of them. It's pretty amazing. And there's a lot more controversy happening, of course, in Europe and with Germany and Australia. So I will bring you the news. Make sure that you do hit the notification bell after you subscribe so you're part of the notification squad so you never miss another video which I upload very soon. Take it easy, guys, and Happy New Year to you.